Hi everyone, I'm Caitlin Tui. I'm a senior at North Rockland High School in Rockland County, New York. I hope everyone is healthy and staying safe. Hello everyone and welcome to Easton's Vlogs. I just wanted to say that. Um, okay, so Easton wanted to know what I've been doing in this time to stay entertained. Hi Easton's YouTube channel, this is Taylor Ewer. I'm here to offer some advice on how to stay motivated during this crazy time of quarantine. Okay, so I have some questions to answer. Um, and then something I think I've really learned during this is just like to be able to adapt to what's up guys i hope that everybody is doing well well the world is kind of going crazy and quarantines are happening but to find some words of inspiration i reached out to five of the most inspiring people i know these are five of the best runners in the united states of america we have caitlin tui taylor ewart Cole Sprout, Nico Young, and also Fiona Max on here. And they all put together little videos inspiring you guys to be better and get through this time. I tried to ask them questions that would be um, provocative of inspiration and definitely a difficult time, but if we all work together and we all bond together, we can make it through. And one thing I think that is really important right now is to stay grounded on what you're grateful for. I did a course yesterday that was talking about how much gratitude helps get down your cortisol levels and helps you to be a happier, healthier person. And that's going to help in life and it's also going to help with running a lot. So right now I am super grateful for the mini basketball hoop I have in my uh, living room. I've been using that thing all day long. One thing I'm grateful for, um, that would definitely be having my family with me at home during quarantine every day because otherwise life would be pretty boring. Uh. The one thing I'm grateful for right now is probably my team's group chat. It's really nice being able to go on there every day and read what they're saying and they always never fail to make me laugh when I'm having a tough day and especially right now I'm not able to see any of them, I'm not able to train with them at practice so it's really nice being able to be able to stay in contact with them and talk to them. You know, shout out to the Alpha Girls. Um. For, for family and you know the time uh, I've gotten to, to spend with them especially since um, you know, during normal school and, and sport life, um, <clears throat> I tend to, you know, not get as much time as I'd like. So it's been, you know, kind of a blessing to, to have all that time now. Um, and then in terms of what I'm grateful for slash what I've learned in quarantine time, um, someone once told me that when it's dark out, it's easier to see the stars. And I've definitely seen that in my time in quarantine. Um, you have to be grateful for the little moments that shine and um, look for the little things that make you happy, whether if, whether it's a new recipe or um, calling your grandparents and checking in with them or a really good social distance run. It's all those little things that add up um, that ultimately are the stars in the darkness. So. Um, one thing that I'm very grateful for during this situation is my family. I'm going away to college next year. I'll be running at North Carolina State University. So I'm really trying to make the most out of this situation and spend as much time as possible with my family before I go away. My favorite quote at the moment is that happiness is a choice, not a circumstance. That's from my boy Ty Easton, who just started a YouTube channel. So if you want to go to his YouTube channel, uh, click on the link here and I'll actually be interviewing him uh, on the vlog. Also, I have an inspirational quote too. Um, that is, you gain strength, courage, and confidence by every experience in which you really stop to look fear in the face. I think that kind of um, encompasses everything I do, so, yeah. Um, and then inspiration, inspirational quote that, um, you know, I've been thinking about kind of during this whole thing is, um, it's, uh, it's in Latin. I can say it because I don't know Latin, but it, it, it's, um, he conquers, he who endures. So in times like these where, you know, it's just kind of bleak and it doesn't look very, um, like, I don't know, it'll be over anytime soon. I, I find like just down and working and um, like I said, having those connections can, can really help just um, kind of help you endure through, through something like this. Um, and yeah, I think like for this kind of thing, it's, it's pretty easy just to kind of lose sight of why you're doing what you're doing. So I think just reminding yourself, like, what's your why? Why, why do you love um, running or whatever, what do you like to do? Um, and then just like taking that stride and making the most out of it. My inspirational quote is by Dina Castor. She's a 
American, used to be the American record holder in the marathon. And when she was going through a really difficult time, she um, actually broke her leg or her foot right before a really big marathon. And um, the quote she said, which resonates with me a lot right now, is, a rigid tree snaps in the wind. However, the flexible tree sways in the wind and develops stronger roots. I think um, it's really important right now just going with the flow and handling the situation the best you can. And then in response to Easton's question about our favorite quote right now, mine would probably be um, a quote from an email our head coach just sent out, our head track coach just sent out. It was, uh, the reality is that you're doing the work and it can never be undone. Um, I love that quote because it reminded me that, I mean, the work we're doing now, even though it may feel purposeless, it it will amount to something, so we have to make sure it's good work. Um, one quote that I'd like to share is by Ray Lewis, and it's, the hardest thing to do is to work hard when no one's watching. And I feel like this fits quarantine very well, because I know you don't see your teammates every day, and it's hard to train on your own, but those who put in the work now are really going to show results in the fall. And one thing I learned from quarantine, that would be um, that you can't get haircuts in quarantine unless Someone in your family knows how to do haircuts, and no one in my family knows how to do haircuts. So, yeah, and I need a haircut. That's that's one reason why that's something I learned. And then something I think I've really learned during this is just like to be able to adapt to different circumstances, because it's you know a lot different than kind of what I had envisioned for this this season, and um, I guess last semester, senior year. So I think just learning to take that in stride and make the most out of it is, is really important and you know easier said than done but I'm trying to you know do my best so one thing I have learned in quarantine right now is to control what you can control I'm someone who thrives off consistency and routine and right now there's not a lot of consistency and routine with meets getting canceled um, yeah sad but you know I'm just trying to focus on I'm doing what I can as an athlete, showing up with a good attitude and being the best I can be every day. And if I can control what I can control, that will bring me some sanity in my life right now. So that's probably one thing I've learned in quarantine. One thing that I've learned about myself during quarantine is that I really take a lot of little things for granted, um, especially seeing my teammates, coaches, and our athletic trainers every day. And I'm, when this whole situation blows over, I'm really going to appreciate them more. My number one advice for all those in quarantine right now is to have some fun with the time, but also use the time to grow as a person, like listen to podcasts, read lots of good books, learn a new skill, like learn to cook or learn how to play the piano or uh, learn magic. You can go on like masterclass.com and do some of those. There's so many good things you can do right now with your time. So my number one advice is to explore some of those options and stay in touch with people as well. Like our relationships are gonna be able to get us through this. And even if we can't be right next to them, uh, give them a call, FaceTime your people, let them know that you care about them and that you miss them. Yeah, and why I love running and how is it helping me? It's definitely um, helping me because it's uh, running is a really good stress reliever. So um, that's super useful. And um, I've been doing it my whole life, so I um, really enjoy it. Um, for me, I, I find it's really helpful to, um, you know, have like some sort of group chat with either your team or some guys you like to run with and maybe around like the same speed as you. For doing some solo time trials, comparing those times and kind of how we're feeling with the season. Um, that's been, you know, really helpful for me just to kind of stay encouraged and uh, wanting to keep training and working hard. Um, staying motivated in general can be really tough. My best advice um, I could probably offer is when you're feeling down or you're having a hard time getting out the door, maybe calling your friend, um, calling a coach, maybe they'll be able to offer some words of wisdom that will uplift you and kind of get you in the right mood for the workout or the run. Also, I think listening to music or a podcast during a run can be really, you know, motivational. It's a nice change of, pa change of pace and um, it can just be really fun. Another great tip I can give you is to write down, you know, your goals or your purpose of why you're running right now. And when you're feeling down or you're having a hard time, um, 
before your workout or just getting in the details that you need to get in, go back, read those few sentences, and that might be able to uplift your spirits and remind you of why you're working hard right now and you're staying motivated. Okay, so Easton wanted to know what I've been doing in this time to stay entertained, and um, I here are my top choices. I would say A, roasted chicken. I learned how to roast a chicken the other day, and life changed. It's an important life skill. Um, you never know where you're gonna need to pull that one out of your sleeve. Um, so definitely learn to roast a chicken and figure out what giblets are. Big learning moment, huge learning moment. Um, journal. I think you're gonna want to look back on this time and see what crazy thoughts were going through your head, what music you were listening to, um, what your mom yelled at you about that day. So definitely journal. Um, if you need to do chores, please, please do your chores to techno music, you know? Calvin Harris makes the world spin. And if you're vacuuming the floors, like the world will spin all that much faster. And lastly, one tip that I'd like to share is to use the extra time you have to your advantage, whether that's getting extra sleep, preparing healthier meals, or just putting in extra work, whether it's cross training or running more miles or injury prevention. So yeah, use the time that you have wisely and thank you. <laughs> really hope you guys enjoy the video. And I also just want to say thank you so much to uh, all of you guys who helped to contribute to the video. Very grateful for you. Let me know what you think in the comments below and share this video as well with other people that you think could use a little inspiration right now. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in the next video. So, peace, thanks. Um, that's kind of my spiel. Thanks all for listening.